Picking a power supply isn't easy if you're new to PC building. Determining wattage requirements is one thing, but determining which will be quote unquote reliable is another entirely. It's an overused word and highly subjective. No chart you will ever see in regards to PSU longevity will be fully reliable because not everyone reports his or her malfunctioning unit. We can, however, predict PSU reliability based on build quality circuitry, things that are way beyond me, but that professional people do on a daily basis. They know what's good and what's not, and also past trends. It's why we group power supply models into tiers, tier one being the most reliable and tier three being the least. If it isn't in one of these three tiers, I personally wouldn't buy it unless it's a brand new power supply that hasn't been tested yet. I made no secret of the fact that I used a tier three deep cool power supply for Walter White's version 1.0 and 2.0. It's manufactured by Channelwell Technology not the best of the bunch and also not the most efficient. But remember, efficiency does not directly determine build quality. They go hand in hand. Typically a better built PSU will be more efficient, but just because something is say 80 plus gold, that doesn't mean I won't have problems with it or experience more than I would with say an 80 plus bronze power supply. Let me play a brief clip of a video I uploaded a while back. What you're about to hear is my DQ1000 power supply under load. Here, I'll do you a favor. This is how loud I sound with the microphone you know, half a foot from my face. That's loud. That's louder than in-game volume. Uh, by, a, by a long shot. For more on that video, click right here. I was just playing GTA 5. We weren't anywhere near a thousand watts. And this system under full load still wouldn't come close to a thousand watts. So I have a lot of buffer room. But the PSU got super hot, which means one of two things. It's either getting super loud or a sensor is malfunctioning. Regardless, it was not something I was willing to put up with. In comes Be Quiet. I'm, I'm not telling you to be quiet. I'm, I'm actually talking about the company. Be quiet. As you might expect, sound is an issue for these folks. They're all about building quiet, efficient components. You may know them from their cases, their fans, which are almost dead silent even under load, or their power supplies. Meet the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11, manufactured by FSP. It's semi-modular, stealthy quiet, and extremely efficient. It has an 80 plus platinum rating, more than acceptable hold up time, and steady load regulation. If any of these terms seem a bit unfamiliar, I have linked articles in this video description that should get you going. Don't worry, I was on the same boat. One other thing I'd like to note before running the sound comparison test is the fact that the Dark Power Pro 11 is also fitted with a Silent Wings 3 135mm fluid dynamic bearing 12 volt fan rated for 1800 RPM. And as you can see here, literally inaudible under most circumstances. So let's put the Be Quiet power supply under similar conditions as the Deep Cool power supply. One thing I do want to note that has changed is the fact that I'm sporting a 5820K now instead of a 6900K. Regardless, load power draw should be in the ballpark. Both are 1000 watt units, both are semi-modular, and both have high efficiency ratings. But in this case, it's the circuit implementation and design that truly differentiates the two. Case and point. Okay, I'm in GTA again, just like last time, and I've let the game sit for about five or six minutes. I have the microphone here. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna throw it underneath the power supply, uh, the power supply shroud in Heisenberg. And yeah, I already know it's a huge night and day difference. So uh, I'll give you the exact same run we gave for the deep cool power supply. Here's the microphone and we're gonna set it right there. Well, it doesn't fall. Gonna set it right there. There we go. Uh, yeah, you're hearing that. I mean, that's that's while uh, while playing. You know, there's there's nothing else going on. And this computer is probably drawing a bit more power than Walter White version 2.0 was, just because we have a Haswell E chip in there instead of a Broadwell E chip. Broadwells are much more uh, energy efficient. So uh, yeah, I mean, huge difference. I'm gonna now alternate between what you're hearing there, if you're hearing anything at all, I doubt you are, um, between that and the leaf blower of a DQ-1000 we heard previously.
huge difference. I don't even need to say anything else and no, this video is not sponsored by Be Quiet in any way. I'm just letting the facts speak for themselves. You really do get what you pay for. Companies that choose less reliable manufacturers save some cash and can target wider audiences with lower PSU retail prices. But companies that keep reliability at their forefronts will not compromise on build quality or design for the sake of reaching wider audiences. This Power Pro 11 is a 1000 watt unit. Most people don't buy these unless they plan on some serious gaming or server productivity, both of which are very expensive. So don't do what I did and pair a $2300 PC with a $90 power supply that isn't even in the top tier. Just don't do it. Look for something with excellent reliability and efficiency that won't put your other components in jeopardy. I know several of you are partial to only Corsair or EVGA, Superflower or Seasonic PSUs, but there's a reason the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 11 is tier 1. You can stick to brand loyalty, I'm not going to try to persuade you to move away from one manufacturer of PSUs to another. You know what works and what doesn't, but that doesn't mean that anything else in tier 1 isn't reliable. And I've made it a point to use the Power Pro 11 in Heisenberg. Ultra quiet and ultra reliable, knocking on wood, nothing is perfect. So to sum this up, and whatever you decide to build, pick a power supply that fits your demand. For any PC build under about 500 US dollars, picking a tier 3 PSU isn't a bad choice. It's all about saving money at that point. I wouldn't go with anything under tier 2 for PCs ranging anywhere from 500 to 1000 US dollars, and certainly nothing other than tier 1 for computers more expensive than that. Again, I speak from experience and won't try to hide the fact that I made a mistake in that regard when it came to Walter White version 1.0 and version 2.0. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you do feel the complete opposite, or if you hate everything about life, be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for that AMD PC build I've been teasing about for quite a while. I'm waiting on the graphics card. AMD R9 Fury, I purchased it for 280 bucks on Newegg. We'll see if I get my money's worth. This is Salazar Studio. Thanks for learning with us.